okay this is another important uh, uh, m mode use uh, in other views uh, than the flex view you have all studied most of them in the flex view that measurement of the uh, ejection fraction till the b bump and systolic pressure and diastolic pressure of the heart but here it is the valve motion abnormalities like the tricuspid valve annular displacement has a very huge uh, importance when it comes to the uh, right ventricular dysfunction is concerned if the tri uh, right ventricular dysfunction is severe usually the tricuspid annular displacement will be minimal similar to the even to the left ventricular annular dysfunction annular displacement also the lv function is very uh, severely dysfunctional the lv annular displacement will be very much less that is also the annular displacement across the annulus uh, are considered in the restrictive cardiomyopathies with constrictive pericarditis differential diagnosis here for the rv dysfunction we use the tapc that is tricuspid annular uh, m mode assessment of the tricuspid annular displacement systolic inversion systolic uh, movements so when you uh, measure the length from the end systole to the end diastole the maximum displacement uh, should be measured and if it is more than 2.5 cm to 2.5 cm it is normal if it is less than 1.6 cm it is abnormal it is severe annular displacement is or severe rv dysfunction it should be suggested you can see the cursor being put on the lateral wall lateral annulus of the tricuspid valve and in that way you will be getting the uh, movement of the annulus against the uh, cursor so this cursor acts as a perpendicular line and the line it, if it is going up and down it will be seen as a sine wave pattern as and as it becomes a flat line it means that more and more is the rv diastolic rv systolic dysfunction is there.